Hi, this is the second video where I'm going to show you how to draw the second decoration, the face with the crown, right? So we start off with a nail that is covered with white gel polish and a matte top coat on, again, the same as the one we did before. What we need is a pencil right now and we're roughly going to sketch where the face needs to be positioned, right? So, first, the easiest thing you can do is draw the lines for the crown, for the base of the crown. Then a big circle for the eye, the left eye. Smaller one on the right side for the right eye. Nose in between, roughly, just like a triangle. Yeah. And now, lips are a bit under the nose. You can do a long wine line. And then, you can do the hair on the right, because it's going to cover most of the face on the right side. Just a little bit for the lips, little lips, not too big, right? And then the chin, that's it. A little bit of hair, the ear, and the neck. Basically, that's all you need right now. And we can start applying the ink. Black ink, I used the first gel one. Really good. Good coverage. It's very dark. You can use a basic one if you want to. Just a simple artist ink. You can find in any art shop. And with a thin brush, we're going to outline the face. If you've seen the first video already, you're going to find it easier this time because you have a basic idea of what we're going to do because the steps are the same. We're going to follow them the same way as we did before. So you make the eye in the first big circle we did. You draw that, yeah. You can do like an eyeliner a bit thicker. Now the bottom bit. Don't worry if it's too dark because later we're gonna work it with the white tail paint. No problem at all. You don't want to do the whole circle just here and there so you can basically see where it is it's easy for you the other one you can do the whole thing and you can even fill it in with the ink because it's going to be dark anyway now you make the first line for the crown on top not the whole way through. You go a bit down where the hair is. Because it gets smaller. And they even join both of the lines. And now on top. Use your imagination. Do the half circles here. It's going to look like a crown now. yeah. That's the end. You make a straight line at the end to join them you can put gemstones there in the circles if you want now the nose as I say it's like a triangle basically two triangles attached to each other not with sharp corners Now 
you want to put more here on this one like a shadow and the lips I'll start with the upper one see what I did right this is clear you see he's like an open mouth this is a straight line we need because you know that face looks as if it has a makeup on for Halloween. This is called makeup. Bottom lip. And again, don't worry if the lines are not too fine and it's a bit darker. We're going to cover it with the gel polish later. This is for the teeth makeup. Now we do a hair, a bit of waves. It's cute because most of the waves are going to be on the right side of the nail. That's how we're going to cover a bit of the face. You see how easy it is, like curls. This is how we're doing the curls now. And the rest, it's up to you. What you want to do, if you want to add more hair at the right side, too, just to fill the nail in. And now the chin, not too sharp. Right, just a bit rounded, that's all. The next, there we have a shadow so we're gonna fill it in from now and the ear roughly we can put an earring there you can use a gemstone as well if you want to just a bit of shadow there and that's it now we're ready to work with some colors What we need is basically the same colors we used for the skull. The only thing that we're going to add is some glitter. So I'm using the same palette, adding more color to it because I've used most of it. And I need some gold glitter. You can use silver or red, whatever you want to do. Can use any glitter. So now we're gonna start off with the easiest bit, which is the red one. Fill it all in. It's the crown and the other red bit that we going to do is the lips. Right. Don't worry even if you add more. Now the lips. So you see where I've done two lines of the ink next to each other. I'm covering all of that. So my mistakes are covered. And I can usually use that as an effect. That's it. 30 seconds in the lamp. And after you're done. You want to add more, some shadow to it. So we use again the black gel polish, which is not very thick, more runny, more transparent, mixed with um, top coat, a clear top coat. A bit on the lips, just the inside lines, and the bottom one. So it makes a shadow with the uh, top, uh, bottom lip and the chin. Yeah. Now, a bit in the middle of every red circle, we're gonna add some of the coral neon color, just to give it more color. So 
and the bottom lip in the middle. You see, it's more visible now. Any excess, excess um, color you can wipe off with a dry brush. Yeah, that's it. You blend it more now. Always have a look, always. Whatever you do, just stop for a second, have a look, see if you like it or not. Because uh, th this is the best way to know where you want to add more color or remove some of it. Now this eye is pretty easy. You will see just a bit of the color there. Um, more where it connects the nose. Yeah, because you, you need like a shadow. Nose, of course, again, we we'll fill it in. Put on top, you see. Showing it there. Basically, doing a Halloween makeup. It's like a coloring book, as I said before. Doing a Halloween makeup, yep. I think I've put more on the chin. Just to form it a bit. You know, the darkest part of that drawing will be the neck. Where the most of the shadow falls on and the hair so most of the neck is gonna be pretty much black just a little bit of white color you want to leave at the end now the crown you can do it now if you want or you can always it in the lamp so you set it it's not runny the color and then you can work on the parts you want to and cover the whole crown later on we're going to add more shades I like this glitter because it's very and it actually gives it a bit of texture looks more like a 3d and as you can see where the red bits are it already looks like a 3d although it's flat but it's because of the three colors we used now the nose you want it to be more darker around the eye so you, you basically outline them Make them more visible. Another shadow that falls from the crown on the face is along the line we did the first line, that bit. Don't worry about the hair because we're going to fill that all in with one layer of black gel polish one thin as you can see it looks grey now around the neck as I said that's going to be the darkest part of the drawing now you have to blend it always blend it you can use a dry brush or you can use a bit of clear top coat to blend it. Now it's a good time to set all that in the lamps for 30 seconds. Just like there. And then you can continue working on it. Darker where the crown falls. The hair, so in between every piece of the hair, you want to add more black. And as well, 
in every section at the end of every hair section you add more black as well I'll show you in a minute in the darker mix yeah that's it okay now in the lamp for 30 seconds and then we continue with the hair Okay, now as I mentioned, you want to separate every section of the hair and on each end of a section you add some black and then we're going to blend it. Even big on the curls, a bit. Try not to cover all of them, leave some grey colour on it. Oh yeah, as well the crown, now you can add more shadow to it. Yeah, as you see the, the, the black colour is not with a good coverage which makes it easy to work with and even applied on the glitter you can still see the glitter under it now you want to cover all that with a clear top coat you can use matte if you want to i'm using the shiny one again 30 seconds in the lamp and it's time to do my favorite part with the white gel paint, very thin brush, long one. Don't take too much paint, just a little bit on the brush. Try to cover the whole brush with color and take the excess one. And then work with it where we put all the black lines with the ink you want to cover them with the white paint now the base of the crown very thin the lines see it stands out more now now we can work on the face the eye where the top point of the eye is it's always lighter so you put like a little dot where it is few dots both sides of the eye and you can do a tiny little one in the middle around the nose not too much you want it a little bit because you can see mine looks now a bit bigger I might have to take a bit off yeah that's better now I'm gonna do the earring with the gel paint you can do whatever earring you want to do a round one or as I mentioned before, you can use a gemstone for it. And then you do the face with it on the skull. That's what I'm saying, that if you've seen already the video for the skull, you'll find it very easy to do this one. Because you, you have an idea of what we're doing now. On top of the lip. A bit in the lip, in the middle. Bottom lip, yeah, that's it. It shows off more. Here it has to be a very, very thin line. Very thin. 
and then no, all the way. Now the curls again. We cover the black lines with um, a little bit, few strikes on the strokes on the middle of every curl where the gray bit is, the lighter bit. We want to outline these beautiful curls now. See, it already looks differently. There in the middle of everyone. And after you cure it in the lab for 30 seconds, ready to go. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video too. And I'll see you in the next one. I think I've put too much, so I'm taking a bit of it. And that's it. We're ready.